Welcome to the official topic talk. Please like, share and subscribe. Audio jungle. Reaction to the Timmy Joyce interview. Now, you start off, mate. You you have your little say first. Um, it is a massive injustice, and once again, it proves the divide um, between the travelling community, you know, and the not travelling community people. You know, I feel it was a massive injustice. Um, for, for numerous reasons, number one, I would say they're the ones that came out of their home with weapons with the intent to cause Joe harm. Now, Joe's come out, and you've got to have two sides. You've got to have the attacking side and defending side. And they quite clearly had the intent to cause harm to Joe because each of them had weapons. And the fact that they left their home to go to Joe's home, that's the intent side of the attack. Now, Joe was only defending himself. The other factor, I believe, because he's got a history um, of, of boxing and because he's a member of the travelling community, they've taken that into account when really, realistically and lawly, they should have just basically looked at the facts of the incident and not who he is. That That's how it works over here, I understand. You know, they don't look at what you've done in the past or who you are. They look at just that case. But I've got a strong belief that there's a lot to do with him being from the travelling community. And I think they've based their facts on him being from the travelling community. And like I say, um, it's that divide between the travelling community and um, the not travelling community. I think, and that's correct, Steve, you're right, your, your, your assessment of that is correct. And listen, big up to Timmy for coming on, gentleman for coming on. So if you're watching this, Timmy, uh, gentleman, thank you for having your say. And all, anybody that wants to have their say in this here, um, that wants to have a legitimate say and give their opinion on this here, uh, can come on and have and and come on and, and have their opinion. But what I want to give you my opinion, right? This is my official opinion on the matter, right? <coughs> I'll clear my throat for this one. I think that it's not just about to do it's not just about the traveling community. The north of Ireland has a class system, right? And unfortunately, the class system when it comes to the justice system, clashes. So you'll have a lot of people. What? The majority of the time, how, ma how many people are going to court? It's people like me. It's people like you. Right? And who are judging us? Who, who is the person that's ruling over us, the judge? Well, these people are the higher class. And it's like the pyramid. Do you think I have that pyramid behind me? Because I'm a member of the Illuminati, which I am, guys. I'm a member of the Illuminati. Right, <laughs> right. But do you think I? What do you think that pyramid represents? The all-seeing eye. At the top of that pyramid, I'm not there. I'm at the bottom of that pyramid. Millionaires and billionaires are at the middle of that pyramid. But power is a is a crazy thing, and it goes to people's heads. The power to I'm going to do that to you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. The money can buy you so much power. But essentially what you're dealing with here is the north of Ireland, a class system once again that's looking down below on the people at the bottom. And where, yes, Ireland has had its issues and the north of Ireland has had its issues in regards to the persecution of the Irish Catholic, like myself, that's sort of, it's still there, but it's sort of fizzling out a little bit. And there's a lot more opportunities, job opportunities, schooling opportunities for people like myself, but for the people like the traveling community, they, some of them are self-educated, some of them stay away from the system, some of them make their own money away from all the, all the governments. And because of that reason, the people at the top of the pyramid in the north of Ireland look down on these people and at any opportunity will give them very, very harsh sentences for things that maybe 
another person, another person, maybe even like myself, an Irish nationalist, probably wouldn't get sentenced for that. Um, and another thing, if this is allowed, see, people aren't people aren't debating whether a sentence should be given. We're not saying a lot of people are saying here, oh, just let him walk free and nothing should happen. Even the own family saying, if he was given manslaughter, we understand. We're not saying, just let him walk free. At the end of the day, a man has died. But a lot, a lot of people are saying, yes, at the end of the day, he, 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 he defended himself. But they would accept the manslaughter. But under no circumstances is this murder. And that's the key. And I'm looking into a lot of cases here in the north of Ireland. And there's a lot of them. But what, I'm, what makes this case a lot different is with the other cases that I've looked into, it's got to do with paramilitaries. It's got to do with the Good Friday Agreement. It's got to do with cases of persecution against the Irish nationalists. Maybe putting them in jail, torturing them, torturing 16-year-old boys. We all know that the, that the RUC done that. Tortured 16-year-old boys without their mums and dads. Interrogated them, beat them. But that's in the past. This is now 2022. So why is there this? Because the travelling community is seen by the hierarchy. The pyramid that you see behind me is seen by the higher by the hierarchy as as scum. I don't think that. I treat everybody with the same level of respect. Nobody's any different to me. Your religion, whether you're black, white, Muslim, doesn't matter. I don't give a shit. As long as you're a decent human being, let me just fix the camera. Let me just fix that camera. As long as you're a decent human being, that's all I care about. Yeah. That's all I care about. So that's where I stand on it. It's the class system in the north of Ireland. I will say this again and again and again. There is a class system in Northern Ireland, the north of Ireland, that not only just looks down on an Irish nationalist or a traveller, but it also looks down on a working class loyalist or unionist or Republican. So we're all in this together. And if we allow this to happen, it's only going to happen to you. And that's my final say on the whole the whole matter.